Hi YouTube, this is Liam Hero 2 with another tutorial on how to help you. Anyway, uh, on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change your Windows 7 log on background screen. So you know when you log into your Windows 7 page, it's like Windows 7 and then all those like flying flowers and the normal Windows 7 stuff and it says, please type in your password or whatever like that. Yeah, we're going to change that, okay? Right. I'm gonna change it to a Mac OS kind of a mass Mac like theme, so it looks kind of like a Mac login page. Cause you know I kind of like Mac, so I like the look and the feel of Mac. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into our browser and we're just gonna close that for a minute. These are all the things I'm gonna use. So the website we are going to go to is Windows to Mac. Windows dash to dash Mac dot TK. Make your Windows PC look and feel like a Mac. Okay. So I made this website just so all the links were together. Okay. So we go to the, the links for download page and we'll click Windows 7 log on background changer download. We'll click that. Then it brings us to a softpedia site. So what we're then going to do is uh, if you want the Norton Internet Security, um, if you want the like the certificate to say that this has got no got no viruses in it, then that's okay. But this is no viruses, okay? So you click External Mirror, and there we have it. Windows 7 Logon Background Changer, right there. Okay, might not be right there in uh, in some other browsers. It could be in Downloads. So, but it's there in Google Chrome. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to that website again. Might as well just use the same window. And we're going to go to Photos and Screenshots. Then we're going to scroll down a bit. And we're going to go to Mac, OS X, Wallpapers, and Backgrounds. Just going to click that. And then it brings two images. We'll go to this one. Okay. And to get a better image to fit your actual Windows login, Windows 7 login background page, we are gonna just copy this code here. Get our highlighter out. Gonna copy this code here. Then we're gonna click left click, and we're gonna click go to HTTP F708. That click, okay? Right. So we we'll bring us to this. Uh, just click that. Zoom in. Bring us to this image. Right, so what we do is left click again, save image as. We're going to go to desktop. We're going to go full. We're going to go new. We're going to go folder. So then you just type in log on images. Right, we'll just name it. Okay, we've just accidentally named it logon, but who cares? Okay, so then we'll just go back to our uh, go back to logon. There we have it. Right, so we're just gonna take off this here. So it fits in. Click save. Okay, that's that down there. Right, second thing we're gonna go is open this zip. Now we don't need Google Chrome anymore, so we'll just say goodbye to him. Click this one here. And you just want to pull this out here. Okay. To save us time, let's just click it. So we'll just click it open. And we'll just close WinRAR there for a minute. We don't, need really, we don't really need WinRAR to be honest, do we? Right, so I've clicked this application. Now, 
before we into that, just close this tabs and tell you a bit more about this website. It was created by me because, well, I was trying to change the look and feel of my PC to make it look feel like a Mac. So I use Windows 7 Start Edition Samsung N150 Netbook. It's all right, fast enough. But the I wanted sort of I wanted Windows operating system because I love it. But I wanted the feel and the look of a Mac with the nice black cursor, as you can see, and the ever the you know the dock and oh, ju I just wanted sort of that kind of style of a computer. So that's why I did this. So that's why I built this website with all the links to get it so everyone could use them. So our Windows 7 Logon Background Changer, once it's loaded up, it should look like this. Okay, this is my current Logon Background. Okay, okay, sorry about that. So then we'll just open this full screen, choose a folder. Okay, one thing I would say is that it takes a bit of time to load the image. There's other ones like a Stardock made one, but um, it's this one's the easiest to use, it's more user friendly. So uh, we just loaded our folder, then we we'll click this one, and then as you can see, it fits in absolutely perfect. So and then your password will be like here. Look just like a Mac. If you want, you can do a bit of editing and pull it up if you want it to look a bit different. But we're gonna click apply right now. And please wait the wallpaper is being applied, and you'll see that down the bottom here. See that, you see that bar down the bottom here? Yeah, that's it. It does take a bit of time, but I think this is the easiest and most user friendly. With the Stardox one, ridiculous, you have to have to pay for it. I don't know why, it's just pretty stupid, I think. But there, look, that's nearly loaded now. Okay. Uh, by the way, just for any of you who are asking, I'm using Camtasia Studio 7 to record the screen. Just in case anyone wanted to know, using Windows 7 Starter Edition on a Samsung N150 netbook. Right. So uh, that's our image has applied now. Okay. Resume. So yeah, our image has been applied. To show this, I'm just gonna go down to my taskbar, which I don't think you guys can see, and I'm gonna left click and I'm gonna click Start the Task Manager. Okay. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. That's bad. I'm gonna click Control Alt Delete. Control Alt Delete. Right, that should bring me to this. Right, and it's showing you what the login screen will look like. Image will be here and all. Okay. Right, and then I'll just um click cancel. Okay. So we'll be back to this. And well, that's about it. Please rate and subscribe and comment and do all the stuff that I want you to do. If you find this useful, please leave a comment, and if there's anything else you want me to do, you know, just send me a message or leave a comment, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.